Well, new tonight, it was once declared the worst environmental disaster in U.S. history. And tomorrow, the state Supreme Court will hear arguments from workers of the Kingston coal ash spill. But before then, a tribute tonight to honor the more than 900 workers in East Tennessee who helped clean up the spill. In 2008, a TVA collection pond failed spilling a toxic sludge that is a byproduct of coal plants. Now, this gathering that you see happened just before the state Supreme Court. Court. Here's a case tomorrow from workers who say that cleanup made them sick. The court claims date back to 2013 against cleanup contractor Jacobs Engineering. This is not just an issue of silica and stuff being in their lungs. This is an issue of 26 different toxins being in coal ash and killing over 50 workers now and a couple hundred of them sick. And it's been t since 2008 and no one at TVA or Jacobs cares. And these people are dying and suffering, and they have gotten no help whatsoever. That advocate says they're still upset workers were asked to respond without proper gear instead of first responders or a proper team. These guys were asked by a government agency, the Tennessee Valley Authority, to come and help them clean up the largest industrial spill that we've ever had in the United States, and they just left them out to dry and it's wrong and we should all be very aggravated about it. That company is asking the court to dismiss most of the plaintiffs for failing to follow state law and file a doctor's report. That hearing takes place tomorrow in Nashville. We will be streaming it live and we will have coverage of it both on air as well as online.